hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel it's me lona if you're new here welcome feel comfortable if you're a returning subscriber i'm so grateful for you god bless you thank you for supporting me and everything um today's tutorial we're going to be making that romper you saw it's a new design and i was like why shouldn't i share it with you guys so the tools we are using is a measuring tape robin i'm going to be using the brand robin but you, you only need medium weight yarn um i'm going to double these two yarns together to achieve something that is medium weight as you can see these strands are a bit thin i'm going to be using a three millimeter crochet hook but you can use a three or a 3.5 that would do and we are going to be using a pair of scissors i think those are the only things uh this one is optional you can use stitch markers in case uh you find it like you're finding it hard to identify your stitches or something like that you can use a stitch marker so getting this out of the way uh let's start off our tutorial um okay let me cut this so we're going to start off by making a slip knot uh, like this then we're going to uh, of course we need a measurement we need our our hip area measurement so in case you have um, a hip area of 40 you can go ahead and chain a chain that is long enough to uh to cover 40 inches um, mine is going to be 150 chains uh, because I'm going to be making something that yeah it's not so small yeah so go ahead and chain that so we're going to start off by chaining five one two three four five then after chaining five you're going to pull this loop a bit like this remove your hook and go back in the first chain be in this position then after that you're going to take your hook back in this position pull your loop back and continue placing your chains this is six this is seven this is to help you keep your chain straight eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty so go ahead and chain your desired chain so this is my chain it's uh it's 150 so all we are doing at this point um is slip stitching in the first chain and your chain is straight if you followed my procedure so we are going to be chaining three after chaining three we're going to yarn over and place double crochets in every chain okay place double crochets in every chain um i'll meet you at the end of this double crochet row yeah it's just double crochets really so guys i've entered all my chains oh sorry about that i've entered all my chains and this is how my work is looking so to slip stitch um basically you guys would slip stitch on top of your chain three but that doesn't always work for me because it does not keep keep my seam neat because i really love a neat seam and i always slip stitch like this this is just a slip stitching procedure um it's not a mask but this is what i do to slip stitch so i'm going to leave this uh loop like this and i'm going to go on this side instead of uh, i'm going to count one two three and on top of this chain three i'm going to pull this loop i left through it like this and this is how i slip stitch i feel this gives it a better coverage than the other way around so you're going to chain three at this point and you're going to go back again with double crochets in every stitch 
uh, entering every stitch with a double crochet and yeah I'm going to show you guys how we slip stitch one more time then we proceed so guys I'm finishing this row um to finish up we're just going to turn our work like this lift this loop uh, count one two three on top of the chain three you're going to place your slip stitch like that so this is what i meant by slip stitching the right way it gives it a very neat seam and not a very you know disorganized and i don't like really a seam that does not look good it's a turn off for me so um from here we're going to be repeating this pattern of chaining uh three turning our work first wait okay let me pull this so you need to chain three turn your work and repeat the pattern oh i'm sorry we are not going to be turning our work because it's already turned okay yeah so after slip stitching the other way we don't turn we just proceed so sorry about that i always keep forgetting so continue with a double crochet in every stitch okay so for this rose um we're going to be doing this up to we needed like a total of 15 but since we have already made two we are going to go ahead and add like 13 more rows uh, to be able to get our desired length before we make the crotch area so go ahead and add um, 13 more rows on these two that we have then you come back for the next part so guys I'm here getting done with my 15 rows as you can see I'm done so this is how my work is looking 15 rows later if i'm to measure the inches um that is like approximately i can say seven inches so we need seven inches before uh, we work our crotch area for the crotch area we are going to this part you can use stitch markers or not use stitch markers depending on how you know how accurate you think you are so you're going to put this work like this uh, putting the seam in the middle so you're going to turn your work the way i've turned mine make sure that the seam is in the middle like adjust this until you find that the seam is in the middle so you're going to go ahead and pull from this side okay i mean sorry about that um align this in line with the seam then you're going to pull this you're going to pull this okay from this side you can either pull or put a stitch marker i'm just trying to mark that part eh? like that so if you notice this is where i have marked so you can go ahead and put your stitch marker or pull the stitch like that i prefer a stitch marker though but yeah the beginners can do that but as the oldies we can go ahead and just pull so i'm finishing my row this is all i'm doing finishing the row so to start off with the crotch area we're going to be chaining for a fat person chain up to 10 10 to 15 for a medium sized person chain 10 so we're going to chain 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so we're going to chain three more after chaining 10 that is three uh, we're going to yarn over and enter into the fourth chain from the hook this chain here count one two three the fourth chain i don't know if the lighting is so good give me a second okay i hope this lighting is better in the fourth chain from the hook we're going to place a double crochet and after this we are going to double crochet all the way down the chain until we reach the body of our work 
so this we are creating the crotch area yeah we are extending it a bit to not um, make someone feel uncomfortable down there so basically we are just placing double crochets in every chain um like that so i have this last part here you need to place a double crochet in it too and we are going to be on the body of our work so we are going to be placing double crochets in every stitch you see so just place double crochets until you reach your stitch marker point or the point that you pulled so you're just going to place no more double crochets until you reach that part so double crochet until you reach your stitch marker so guys i'm approaching the stitch marker point if you can see it's a bit pulled um i hope you can identify yours because mine is just right there so just some um, two or three stitches away um and if you can see there it is so this is the point that i pulled so i'm going to place a double crochet in that stitch marker point so this is how far we are if you notice that when you put your work like this this is on the side and this is on the side so from here we're going to chain 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 um we need to chain three more um one two three and also yarn over place a double crochet on the fourth chain from the hook then we're going to double crochet all the way back the way we came we are not proceeding to the other side we're just going back um the way we came so all we are doing is placing double crochet in every so we are going back the way we came so you're just going to place double crochets until you reach this tip so I'm proceeding um, somebody called that's why the video got cut so just proceed with your double crochets okay see you then so guys i'm going up this crotch part if you can see r so i'm just going to go up finishing those stitches neatly um yeah so i'm done with this this is how my work is looking uh, from this side it has like one then this side has two so we're going to um, single crochet around along this point single crochet in the middle place one single crochet in this space then if you notice we would be on the other side like this so you're going to chain three here then you need to place um single crochet a, a double crochet in between those stitches or you can align there are no stitches here so you're just going to align a double crochet with a double crochet like that so there are no stitches to enter but you can just align them in a neat way since we just want double crochets okay so we are working on the other side now and this method always keeps the crotch very comfortable you know the crotch area is really a very important area so it needs to be cutted for in style so yeah i'm just having an issue aligning it but yeah i think you just have to align them in a way that you think won't look so messed up because there are no stitches as you can see mine came out perfect yours can do so too 
so at this point we're just going to proceed after putting your last uh, double crochet aligning them proceed to your next um to your next side so we're just going to double crochet until we reach the top of the other part okay so we just uh double crocheting on this side this time until we reach the other tip go ahead and do that so guys i'm going up on my work this part is a bit tricky but let me take you through it when you reach this point uh you finish up the double crochets then you're going to find that there is this extension so in this first space you're going to place two double crochets there um we're going to place uh one double crochet in this junction then we will just align the rest of the double crochets um as you can see there are no stitches so just align them neatly in a way that um your work does not look um disorganized okay neatly just like that So we are done with this so all we are doing from here is chaining three and going back but this time uh, we are not going to go back up to up here we are going to stop at this junction right here when you're trying to branch up we are going to stop here okay so we are just going to go back the same way we came but not proceeding up so go ahead and just double crochet neatly up to that point so guys i'm approaching our stopping point our stopping point is around that junction where this thing tends to turn if you notice this is the point I'm talking about this line here so here you're going to just place a single okay let's say a slip stitch crochet you're just going to slip stitch in a single crochet form yarn over don't make a double crochet just take this and make a slip stitch then you're going to pull that and cut pull the rest and yeah you're done okay so that is how we're going to leave that part so we are coming back to the body so we are going to okay check which side you want to okay which side is in and which side is out go ahead and check but mine is all the same since i've been turning my work if you have not been turning your work then yours won't be the same so it's all about following instructions so we're going to make a slip knot and we're going to join these two points together uh, so pull this through this and make a single crochet so we're going to single crochet these two together just jabbing your hook you can use a darning needle for this part because it's just um just to put them together in a neat way so this is not a very tricky thing it's just about them being together okay there are no stitches there so i just jabbed it basically yarn over and cut when you're done so we have already done that they are together now so turn your work inside out the way i did mine so from this point i'm going to leave you to decide what length you want your shirt to be because it's now your choice because we are going to be working in different sides you will work this side later on after working this side or you start with this or this side that is your choice so make a slip knot and go and choose which side you want to start from i'm starting from this side 
uh, go to the seam that part where we slip okay we chain we we joined uh, we are going to just jab our hook around the middle there attach our yarn chain three so that's the bit tight yeah I think wait I didn't make a good slip knot so make a slip knot attach your yarn and pull okay after pulling you're going to chain three and place double crochets so chaining three we will place double crochets all round in every stitch place double crochets in every stitch so basically from here we're just going to be repeating the pattern until you get your desired length uh, we are going to reach some point uh, and put mesh lines a little uh, mesh so i'm just going to go around this thing six times then i put i'll come back and show you how to put the mesh lining uh, from down there so this is my first row let me show you my first row in a bit so just go down around here and i'll meet you here so i'm just finishing this row yeah i'm just finishing the row and i'm done so from this point you're just going to pull as usual turn your work and slip stitch on top of your chain three like that okay then chain three and proceed the way you know proceed back so you're just going to be going back and forth if you're going to follow my length do this for for five more rows and go ahead and extend the other part it's just the same procedure you're going to just attach your hook somewhere here and keep going round until you get that length yeah i'll come back with the length of six six on both sides so guys this is how my shot is looking at this point so we're going to go ahead and the length from here downwards i'm not dictating it it depends on how long you want your shot to be so I've stopped mine at around I think I added two more I made it eight so you can add more depending on how long you want it to look um from here we are going to be making the mesh pattern so you're just going to okay I guess you've done this slip stitch okay from here we are going to chain um five one two three four five so we're going to yarn over instead of placing normal double crochets we're going to skip two so you will skip two and in the third stitch place a double crochet okay okay that was not clean so one two in the third one place a double crochet chain two and yeah we're going to chain two yarn over skip two place another double crochet chain two skip two or by the way first wait i'm sorry so let's go back here um let's go back here i realized something and i don't want you guys to also go through that mistake um we're going to chain six instead one two three four five and six and we're going to skip two instead of five okay skip two make a double crochet so instead of chaining two we're going to chain three one two three skip two and make a double crochet now uh, we're going to do this because the mesh pattern tends to be a bit tight so we want to make it a bit loose okay so you're going to chain three and continue the pattern skip two place a double crochet like that chain three and this is going to be the pattern for the whole row i'll meet you at the end of this row okay sorry about that but 
yeah it's very necessary correction like that is very very necessary because I want the shot to be very very fitting and should not be tight or anything from down so this is going to help increase the ten I mean reduce the tension of the the mesh pattern so go ahead and complete this row so guys this is what I have for the downer part I went and did five rows so after completing uh, I did for the other side too but I extended this with a ribbon so let me show you guys the ribbing that I used um, of course after finishing yeah wait that uh, after finishing I slip stitched on top of my chain three so we are going to chain three at this point uh, after chaining three we're going to place four double crochets into this first uh, space so one two three and four so we are going to just um slip stitch into the next thumb um, you're going to skip one box one of these mesh patterns and slip stitch into the next i don't i mean make a single crochet in the next okay so just make a single crochet like that then single crochet again in this space uh this part here you're going to single crochet on top then you're going to single crochet twice again in this space and you're going to single crochet on top here then single crochet in this space so we're going to be skipping two two and make four four double crochets so from here we're going to chain three uh, we're going to place four double crochets in this space that's two this is three and four we are going to uh, skip this space enter into the next with a single crochet single crochet again single crochet in this space single crochet twice in the next space single crochet here then you're in the next space you chain three place four double crochets so that is the pattern go ahead and repeat this until you finish the whole of this row yeah let me first connect my yarn as you can see it's done so guys after finishing the downer part we're going to extend the waist a bit you mean uh, i i mean the this upper part that extends to the uh, belly button we have to extend it a bit so you're just going to attach your yarn at any point uh, from the waist I prefer the seam because you know you can follow up the seam easily so just attach it in a way that it's um, aligned with the seam so I'm just going to attach my yarn and basically all I'm doing is chaining three then placing turning my work of course or you don't turn you can turn in the second row but the first row you can just leave it so you're just going to identify each and every double crochet and place so let me just move in this direction since it's easier to identify from this point so you're just going to place a double crochet in line with every double crochet this is to help us extend our waist a bit up okay we need that coverage of around um of around three to four rows at least three to four rows upwards so there's nothing new here besides you just extending this thing a bit up okay you do that just extend move this row come and slip stitch here uh, slip stitch the same way we have been slip stitching um, go brown with double crochets for at least three to four rows then you come back 
so guys i finished off my row i think i have only one front post left so after this you're just going to uh, slip stitch on top of your chain three one two three chain three turn your work um so you're going to be identifying a back post and a front post you'll see that a front post is a bit in the front and a back post is a bit in the back as you can see mine there is this protruding one and those ones so mine starts with a back post so i'm going to start with a back post like that then i enter a front post with a front post then yeah after that i think every pattern is going to be the same so basically you're going to be repeating repeating this pattern for the whole of this row and this is going to be the last one before we start working on the bust size uh, side i mean so all i'm doing is entering every front post with a front post and every back post with a back post so this is the effect it's creating um as you can see my yarn got done again let me connect again so finish up this row and we proceed upwards so guys i'm done with this row i'm just slip stitching on top of my chain uh, three like that then cutting this off so this is how my waist is going to be looking um we're going to put a string and draw it so for at this point we are going to um let's see so align your work like this make sure you get that middle part okay make sure you get the middle point the seam then you mark the seam from the front so um this is what we need the middle exact middle because we want to work up uh, the video is getting long so i just want us to hurry with this so we are going to um to be you can use your tape measure uh, so you're going to put you're going to extend um four four inches from both sides so you're going to i think three three should be or 3.5 3.5 inches from both sides so yeah i think this is enough or let's go with four because i just want this halter part to be a bit i want it to, okay i want it to be a bit exposing i want it to expose the waist a bit so depending on how you want it to look you're going to deviate um get the middle divide this into two so we are going to have this and this so this is how our work is going to be looking or you can choose to have it around here but let's get the for the first choice is always the best so you're going to mark these two points putting four in the middle there you're going to mark uh, eight inches and one so get your stitch marker or i'm just going to get okay this is where i always see the importance of stitch markers <laughs> i rarely use them so you're just going to mark this part and this part okay this is the middle put the four in the middle so four inches this side four inches this side so basically i'm marking this point uh, like this then i'm going to insert me i can identify mine i don't know about yours i'm just going to pull it a little bit so this is where i'm going to start from four in the middle four here so i'm going to start from here from this stitch right here Ooh. okay so guys i'm going to be working from here to here 
hope you get what I was doing. I was just dividing the two into something that, yeah. So I'm going to just make a slip knot, uh, place um, a chain three inside there. So just going to chain three. Then we are going to turn our work. After turning our work, we're just going to double crochet all the way to the other point. So this is just continuing upward with double crochets. But we are going to be um, just working in the demarcated points. So we're not going to be going all round, just going to the other point. So go there and I'll meet you there. So this is what I was talking about, um, moving back and forth. So you're going to add um, two more rows before we can make that that belly, you know, the strap point. So chain three, turn your work, and place double crochets. Do this for two more rows. This is the second, so we are adding one more. Go ahead and do that. So guys, I'm in the third uh, row finishing so i've made three increases so at this point we're going to chain seven one two three four five six seven then we're going to turn our work and uh, we're going to skip two um two double crochets and place a double crochet um we just want this part to look like this okay place the double crochet after skipping two so place double crochets all the way around I mean all the way through this until you you stop at two you stop two stitches away from the end so guys after stopping two stitches away you're going to chain seven one two three four five six seven then we are going to slip stitch in the first stitch, this stitch right here. We are just going to slip stitch there, like that. So this is the effect it has created. So you need to turn your work. After turning your work, we are going to make slip stitches until we stop two. At this point, we leave two, two chains. So you need to slip stitch in this chain slip stitch in this chain slip stitch in this chain slip stitch um slip stitch until you are left with two chains okay right now i have two chains so when you have two chains left make sure that two one two so you need to chain three again and enter that chain the, the left chains with double crochets one and two there are only two chains left so just double crochet twice and we are going to proceed um to this point placing double crochets back okay we are going back the other side so i'm going to just meet you at the end because after this we are creating this effect okay yeah so just go ahead and place double crochets until you reach the other point and I show you what needs to be done so guys I've reached this point um stopping on the double crochet we're going to double crochet only on two chains so one chain and the second chain is this one so you're just going to uh, go only in two chains okay so that effect is there we are creating that effect at the end so from here we're going to chain three then we're going to add two more um turn our work add two more rows of double crochets so enter the first stitch until you finish this row entering every stitch uh, up to this stitch okay then you go back again with another row of double crochets then we are going to repeat the other procedure but i'll show you so go ahead and do that 
so i've extended the effect up to three more rows so at this point we're going to be repeating the same pattern so chain uh, seven two three four five six seven turn your work skip to make a double crochet after skipping two and place double crochets all the way until you are left with two stitches on the other side yeah i think it's the same procedure though i just have to repeat it for those ones who have not yet got a grip of it so I'll meet you there so i'm left with two stitches we're going to chain seven this is seven uh you're going to slip stitch in the first in the last stitch i mean slip stitch there then turn your work we're going to slip stitch again until we have two stitches left the same thing we did last time okay so i have two stitches left chain three double crochet in that chain double crochet in this chain then continue placing double crochets so this is the pattern we are going to repeat this pattern for as long as your until it reaches that lower part of your boob put it on yourself make sure that it's underneath your boob area so we need to extend for the boob cov coverage i mean so go ahead and just repeat this procedure if you have a big belly of course i won't expect you to do a few lines if you have a small belly i think it won't really be many lines so this is the procedure until we reach the underneath of our boob because this cannot be the boob coverage uh, part because this is just for the belly part uh yeah for the boob we are going to be extending a little bit so i added only one more row after this if you can see that i added this and this so just yarn over and cut oh my pair of scissors so you just cut that so we want to now extend for the boob area so for the boob area it's going to depend on how much you want your back to be open you can chain as little chains and as small chains as you want but for me i'm going to chain around 15 yeah 15 chains so this is what we are doing because we are extending from both sides 15 15 that is the total of 30 more chains so i will start off by chaining 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so i want to extend this part up to 15 rows back or yeah i think that's enough because we are going to be working upwards okay so if i extend this 15 okay let it be 20 one two three four mm. four five so for the perfect um look let it be 20 so i'm going to extend 20 20 on both sides all you're doing is uh, attaching it to this corner right here okay just attach it okay that's a bit tight so we are attaching it in this part like this you need to yarn over and cut off your yarn just and that's an attachment so you need to attach also the other side 20 more chains uh one two okay two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and twenty 
so you're also going to attach at the tip of this part so this is like an extension that we are making for the boob area so yarn over and cut after attaching so you can see that this is attached okay so you can tie tie and cut off in case you don't want to be disturbed at the end so all we are doing is placing a slip knot in the first chain this side okay then we're going to chain three then place a double crochet in each and every chain going to the other side so we're just going to place double crochets in all of the 20 chains and continue up to the other side on the other chain of course we're going to be just joining the two go ahead and do that so i wanted to show you guys how i'm going to make my uh i'm going to join them so i'm reaching that point where i have to join so if you noticed um the way my work is we're just going to yarn over and go straight into this first stitch like that that is all and you you would have joined your work so you're just going to proceed in each and every stitch don't skip any stitch i almost skipped that one so it's just joining basically joining every chain to the other side then you're going to proceed this is how your work is going to look okay proceed up to this side okay make more chains and turn your work proceed back and forth make um an extension of like how, how big your boob is you can even go up to 20 extensions as long as your boob is big or you can do as small as five rows okay so go ahead and do that i'll come back and show you so this is for the ham holes i actually already made one of the ham holes so i wanted to show you guys how to come up with this um this is approximately let me measure this for you guys to see. um this is 16 inches long so the only way you can achieve this not the only but the way i did this is you make a slip knot okay then you're going to chain five one two three four five then pull this loop go back in the first chain okay the first chain go back in this position and chain continue chaining the amount of um of chains that can fit your arm I know some hams are big some are small so just put it around your ham or inside your ham hole and see how many you need so this is a demonstration after getting uh, the amount of chains you need you're going to um, slip stitch in the first chain like that so you're going to chain uh, one two three four five after that then you're going to skip two two chains making a double crochet in the third so chain two skip two let's say double crochet in the third chain um basically this is what you're going to do the whole round so the other procedure of removing the chain at first that one is and inserting in the first chain is to keep your work straight okay so all i'm doing is just demonstrating how to achieve the ham hole so let's assume this is for a baby my hook is being really stubborn um yeah so i'm almost done with the first row of this one so you're basically just going to chain uh, in case you are left with one chain or two chains luckily if you're left with two chains you're good if you have one chain just leave it like that just chain two and slip stitch on top of the chain three okay then you're going to chain one two three four five 
done your work repeat the procedure uh, you're going to be placing a double crochet on top of every double crochet like that chain two place a double crochet on top of a double crochet and this is the procedure you're going to be repeating until you achieve your length for the ham hole so that was like mine was is it 16 inches yeah 16 inches long so this is all you're going to be doing until you achieve your 16 inches the width, uh, the, the width of the chain or the circumference of the chain depends on the, on the what the the size of your ham okay i can't dictate that some people have fat hams so i can't say so chain i mean count three slip stitch chain three i mean five turn your work and repeat the procedure so this is all you're doing for a long length like this okay this is mine so guys I'm extending the side of my uh, work piece I decided to extend five more mesh rows so you go ahead and do that too in case you feel you want to do what I did so chain five on the side uh, turn your work like from the side after finishing I finished up to 10 rows you're going to be placing a double crochet in every bar there's a bar right there chain two place a double crochet chain two place a double crochet in every bar like a bar is this okay like this so yeah that is all we are doing to extend i made like five mesh extensions on the sides yeah so that is all we are going to be finishing this with a mesh so you're going to chain to place this then chain five at the end here plus two I mean chain five I mean <laughs> turn your work I'm trying to hurry the video is really very long and alarming place a double crochet on top of every double crochet chain two place a double crochet and that is all finish up this up to five rows and come back so guys I want us to cut some some after finishing this of course cut um a long rope like this something small that you can just fix uh, we're going to be going in the middle of this go in the exact middle place and align it very well so this is the middle so get that middle part with the rope Ooh, this video is already so long so um we're going to get the middle part from here this is the middle right we're going to attach this uh, this rope right here in the exact middle part okay it's supposed to be two but one can also do so you're going to just um, estimate where your boob starts from from that point this other point um go straight there this is where mine ended started from i mean um i'm just going to insert that from the middle inside here okay this is what we're going to do so all you're going to do is you're going to just put this thing in a way that it doesn't look so disorganized because we're going to tie them together so you're just going to al align that in a way that it looks like a bra just doing okay shaping it eh? as you can see mine okay so this is how you are going to do it so make sure you're in the exact middle and do that from a closer look this is what I mean then we're just going to tie this we're going to tie these two together 
so rewind that in case you've not understood uh, it's just time actually to bring that rippled design so this is what we have for the bra part uh, this is how it looks from a closer view okay after tying so um, we're just going to make put this on your shoulder put this on your shoulder from your bra part we are going to attach the, the straps so just make a long chain uh, identify where you want your straps to be mine is going to be um, around here so this is where I'm attaching my straps or I'm just going to put it around here okay so attach your strap by chaining a very long chain chain a very long chain then come back with two go ahead and align this and also attach that then i show you uh, of course go ahead and make two of these make two of these please yeah 